Lots of talk. WWE has pivoted away from booking Becky Lynch as a heel, instead opting to let audiences decide how they want to react to her feud with Charlotte Flair. Brian Alvarez discussed this on Wrestling Observer Live, saying her run-in and the use of the B-word on this past uh, SmackDown were designed to get a pop. John Pollock of Post Wrestling said that he was told the idea is much less of a heel babyface dynamic, and instead it's two ex-friends and both have valid points, and neither are going to back down from each other. WWE still doesn't want Charlotte to be a villain, but isn't going to force Becky into that role either. Well, she's getting some of the biggest reactions on SmackDown, I'd say. Okay, so when that you was have... the biggest pop of the night, by the way, at SummerSlam, I gotta say, I, I, I think. Oh, uh, yeah, it sounded like it. Her, you have her, yeah, it was the biggest pop. You have her turn in front of a somewhat pretty smarky crowd in New York, and then her first show is also in New York, and then you go to Bizarre World of Canada, of course she's gonna get cheered. I don't think she's gonna get booed anywhere, to be honest with you. Nobody, nobody hates her. You, like, she could come, like... Back in the day, like with Ric Flair, you know, when he was kind of like that at that stage and Sting and whatever. And, I mean, she's not a legend, but people like her so much, you know, she could friggin' light puppies on fire and stomp them out on her way to the ring and they'd still pop huge for her. So, <laughs> Bro, we gotta um, get her heat somehow, bro. Yeah, well... Her hair I, is not enough fire, bro. <laughs> what the hell? Well, I brought this up to, to uh, Kyle last week. I was like, you know, I apparently Bruce Pritchard said that uh, uh, Vince McMahon used to use this with Hollywood Rock when he was at, coming out there and like crapping on every city, and they'd still cheer him. And he was like, "He's crapping on them, but he's crapping ice cream." <laughs> That's basically it. Like she's crapping ice cream on them. They're not gonna hate her. They're they're just not because they've been wanting her to be the top dog for so long. Well, not the top dog. That that they is want reserved. Want her to be for, Roman Reigns? I don't think. No, that's he's. What the fans want. No, he's the big dog. Oh, my. Oh, yeah. Only Michael Cole can ruin stuff for me. <laughs> if there's uh, anything on this planet that can make me hate Roman, it's Michael Cole. Yeah, Michael He has Co that ability. Michael Cole to repeatedly. To be fair, Greg, as much as you like Reigns, it's got to be the lamest nickname. Let's just rip off the Undertaker's name from 12 years ago. Well, he did, he did take it after he beat him, though, to be fair. I mean, His yard, big dog. I mean, come on. Yeah, he now. did it the night after. We were there. He took it. He goes, this yeah. is my yard now. He clearly said now, so that part I, I get. He pounds that, that hole. one of the best promos of his career. Yeah. Well, the other thing is, you know, I've always been a big Sasha Banks fan, but freaking Michael Cole, Whoa. every oh, time every time she comes to the ring and I, and I hear, the first thing I hear is Michael Cole yelling, it's boss time. I'm like, you know what? I hate her now. <laughs> I almost said the same for Balor Club. Oh my God! Bowler Club is here. We know, dude. They all dude. have the shirts. We know. <laughs> it's we for everyone. Dumbass. When, when I went back and watched <laughs> SummerSlam, he's like, "Demon Bowler Club has come to Brooklyn." I'm like, dude, shut the hell up. Well, plus, never was that a thing. Ever. I know. It's not a thing ever. <laughs> well, it's not a thing. Plus, the fact that did did you listen to how many times he drove home? Demon, demon, it's the demon. He is the demon. Well, the demon is here. I'm like. We know he's wearing the face I, paint. You notice they didn't call him the Demon King, though. No, yeah, he's just the demon. And they just even the demon. after Michael Cole said demon like five thousand times, and then JoJo announces him as the Demon Finn Balor, and I wanted to throw my phone across the room. I, I'm like, oh my god, we know. Ah, <sighs> and then the coach hello goes and like tries to ruin it. Why doesn't he do this all the time? <laughs> it's like literally, quit trying to be logical, he... damn it. <laughs> <laughs> kind of defeats the purpose of him doing it. Yeah, I know. Well, I've I've heard other people on the internet. It's like, why doesn't he just do the demon all the time? That's like he's not really as over when he's not. It's like, well, I don't know. It's like to 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 have a big pop, I guess. I don't know. Just shut up. It's like it's like if the Power I Rangers feel, automatically summon. Like, them... It's <laughs> like if the Power Rangers automatically summon the Dragon Zord when they're trying to oh, fight right. off Buddy Patrol. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel yeah. yeah. It makes him more special when he only does it once in a while. I, What's even better is we didn't know it was coming. Oh well, like, yeah. The lights went off for a long time, and I remember everyone was like, "Oh my god, if the thing beeps, I'm gonna mark out." Or like, <laughs> like the, the heartbeat, dude, I'm marking out. Yeah, <laughs> and it did. <laughs> dude, <laughs> like, oh my god. The only person I know I haven't of... been there for the Balor entrance for the demon entrance. Yeah, I I have uh 
2015 with Greg. Uh, other than that, I, I I haven't been there for it. But that was Kevin Owens, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was awesome. Uh, but my dude, my friend Caleb, who I watched uh, Takeover with, was the only one who called that. Cause like I was getting ready to leave, and he's like, "Well, you know, we get uh, at least we'll get Demon Balor tomorrow night." I was like, "Dude," I was like, "We're not getting the Demon. There's no way." I was like, "They haven't teased it or nothing." And sure as hell, like he called it. But I think that's what made it even more special. They didn't tease it at all, right? And he wasn't the pumpkin it wasn't Demon predictable either. Like if your your friend happened to just say it, that's one thing. But it wasn't like predictable. Yeah, I know. That's why I thought it was even better. But yeah, so that was cool. Um, by the way, real quick, while we're on the subject of SummerSlam, dispel some bull crap that Dave Meltzer said on Wrestling Observer Radio. No, he, he, he doesn't say any bull crap. We talk. No, about? everything is the gospel. Yeah, according well, to Dave. Well, 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 dispel this. He claimed, "Oh, the audience was furious when Reigns won. They were just, they were up in arms." Hell no, they weren't. Not that is not true at all. And this is. Yeah. I would say seventy thirty, maybe. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Get, first of all, the whole match was like a whole weird tension of booing both and <laughs> cheering both. Yeah. And then when Reigns won, the initial response was a cheer or not or no reaction at all, and then a boo, and then more <laughs> cheering. Yeah. And then when when Braun didn't get up, it was kind of a like a murmur. So it was a <laughs> it was a weird mixture of all emotions. But I wouldn't say, oh, oh, screw this. Screw WWE canceling my my network. Uh, I've been a fan for twenty years. Thanks a lot, Vince. Crap. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> nice. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I figured you know, that the thing is too. I think there's a lot of closet fans. I hate to say it. I'm not, I'm well, not yeah. trying to sound like a Roman. There's a lot of closet fans because I'm telling you, dude, the cheers get louder for him when the match starts. I think people just like to boo the beginning of his song. Well, we talk- because those boos oh, die yeah. down heavily. Song is a point to be fair. Well, we talked about this before, like, everybody craps on Nickelback, but who the hell is selling out those arenas? Who the hell is buying their CDs? Somebody likes this band. 50 million sold. Some, yeah, I mean, they're doing something right, so... Yeah, like, you know, I direct all your hate tweets to at Pod Rest Society because I just, you know, said something positive about Nickelback. Oh, man, you're getting a, getting a letter. <laughs> the way... <laughs> The way I uh, it, the way I would cheer, was going for that match was first of all I wanted Kevin Owens to win Money in the Bank because I wanted him to cash him on whoever won. Oh man! But when that didn't happen, I figured as long as it's not Lesnar, I'm not gonna come sit here and be mad. Yeah, right. That's all I cared about. I was like, thank God better- Brock lost. And uh, Kyle was saying he was like, ah, oh, the match should have went longer, like at WrestleMania, or whatever. I was like, no, just get the belt off him, get the hell out. Boom, Reigns is the man. End I thought it, it. it should have went like one or two minutes max. Dude, yeah. When he had that spear to open the, or the the Superman punch to open the match, yeah. I was thinking we're going to get a Goldberg situation. Yeah, same yeah. here. I know. I was like, man, this is this is great. Um, but yeah, uh, moving on here. Something. Speaking of Goldberg, actually, that was a, a good segue. And no, we didn't choreograph this beforehand. Uh, so he didn't know what I was talking about next. Uh, speaking of uh, spears oh, or people who do spears. Roman Reigns has apparently now overtaken John Cena as the best merchandise seller in WWE, and I wanted to take a quick... Inflating numbers. Oh, yeah. I wanted to take a quick minute to talk about that. That's the guy we haven't seen in, like, a year. Yeah. Well, the thing is, with this as well, is, you know, people are saying, oh, well, when you've got five t-shirts to everybody else's one, and I'm like, what are you talking about? That's everybody's excuse, and I'm like, dude, I've seen, like, two Roman shirts, and, I mean, I guess if you count the shield... Uh, t-shirt that's out there but it's like Rollins has a new t-shirt every month like what are mm-hmm. you talking about AJ has like 50 shirts yeah yeah I swear AJ doesn't show up on a Smackdown wearing the same shirt back to back weeks like ever I know that's why it, and, every every time I see and, a shirt I'm like I want that one and then he's out in a new one like two weeks later I'm like damn it <laughs> yeah I bought I bought my son an AJ shirt and I swear it was like three shirts ago oh no, <laughs> I know and I just bought it <laughs> and, and, uh, the one I got is the uh, this is the house AJ Styles built, and that was like three, four shirts ago. Yep, I know. I think even Greg, this Reigns current shirt kind of sucks. Yeah. yeah, that one's like basic. It almost looks like a, uh, what was it? It looks like it's like a rip off the Air Jordan logo too. Like oh, you sh- I meant the, you meant t- the one with the pit bull on it. Oh yeah, that was kind of lame. I thought it was a Baron Corbin shirt. 
Uh, yeah. Because yeah. it looks like one of Corbin's shirts. You talking that one where they, like, did the 3D logo above the stage at SummerSlam? Yep. That thing? Yep, that one. Yeah. By the way, That's they... That's what's the what current shirt is, I think. Yeah. Because they brought that freaking back. I was like, they did it at WrestleMania, and I wasn't... I I was like, the hell are they doing? I mean, That's like, really cool. Yeah, I mean, it looked okay, and then, but then they brought it back for this, and I'm like, uh, okay, that, like, the one, the one that I thought was the best, I mean, besides the, the opening where they had, like, the logo above the ring, I thought the best one they did was when d- the demon came out, and they had, like, the swirling, like, hell clouds above the yeah, ring. Yeah, uh, yeah, that one uh, I geeked for, I thought. Cool, it had, like, the po- positivity meter, or whatever it was. Oh, I don't yeah. remember that one. <laughs> I I must have missed that one when when uh, that happened. But the but the rains one I thought was the worst. I'm like, uh, okay, all right, whatever. I'm gonna be honest. I haven't gone back and watched that, so I I don't know what happened when he came out. He had his that that pit bull logo like moving like above the stage, and he like walked under okay. it. Okay, because that's what they showed during the uh, the WWE shop commercial. Yeah, and it's that head moving, so it's probably probably the same thing. Yeah, it it is. It's the same graphic, and I was like, mm, lame. But whatever. I mean, I like Roman. I didn't feel he needed that that thing, but whatever. Lame. Canceling my subscription. <laughs> Done. Screw you, Vince. Ah, I've been a fan for twenty years. I no longer like wrestling because this guy won the title. <laughs> I'm gonna close him down. Like, you ever thought that maybe he's just a heel, and he'll sometimes win the championship? Like, just shut oh, up. I know. Like. Yeah, he, he's the champion from now on. Screw all of you. Yes, forever. He's going to have a Brock Lesnar type range. We really ain't got crap on him. Man, I can Can you think of like back in the day like when the Iron Sheik won, like uh won the won the title right before dropping it to to um uh Hogan and like he wins the title and they're like, "Oh, screw the Iron Sheik. Never watching WWF again." Click. Click. And then they send him like terse worded letters. This was better when dad owned it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like what happened to the good old days of superstar Billy Graham? <laughs> My gosh. Uh but yeah. So but yeah, Reigns is a top merchandise seller, so uh, PW Insider has posted an update on their recent Kurt Angle talk. His suspension is only storyline. Oh, shock. And there is oh, Yeah. And there's no heat on him. He's training hard for an in ring return but they have no confirmation on who his opponent or opponents will be. Oh, come on. It's going to be Baron Corbin. Well, yeah. I thought it would be Hunter. Oh, man. I want to see that match. Even though they're old and slow, I still want to see that match. I, I don't. I don't. I feel like Angle's one bad drop away from snapping his neck for good. Well, Triple H, I mean, <laughs> if I was going to trust my neck with anybody, it would probably be Triple H. Uh, Ooh, Mr. No Quads? I don't think so. <laughs> hell uh you notice he went from like massive knee pads down to like regular sized ones finally yeah that's what i pay attention to well i just noticed that because he used to come out with like half of his half of his leg was a freaking knee pad and now it's down to like normal sized ones okay, like, that's what I'm doing. uh russell vote says that bray wyatt is in line for a quote slight refresh again his character will largely be the same when he returns to TV, and he should get a push as a babyface singles act. Should you use the word largely yeah. when talking about Bray Wyatt? Is that politically correct? When talking about his girlfriend, probably. Oh my gosh. Hey, she's a little thing. All right. We saw her. Well, yeah, but, but well, no pun. There's, <laughs> there's wow. one part that's not a little thing when it comes to JoJo. What the hell? Well, there's... You, never mind. I'm not going there. But uh, we saw those two... Too late. We're on it. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, we're Aren't talking we? about... Um, but we saw those two and uh, Bo Dallas in New Orleans walking down the sidewalk on Bourbon Street. Now, why would those three be together? That's weird. Yeah, I know. I have right? no clue. Yeah. Uh, we uh, we did not uh, run after them like school children trying to get their autograph, though, because we were currently sitting down enjoying some gumbo. So... I was enjoying Gator, but yeah. Well, yeah, that too. <laughs> it was uh, it was good. But anyway, PW. Good. They apparently at Starcast, like this got a lot of vitriol. Uh, 
they asked Bruce Pritchard and um, Eric Bischoff, they said, if you could start a promotion from scratch with three guys or girls, whatever, who are the three you would pick? And two, uh, there were two different answers um, for two of the people, but both of them both picked Cody as one of their guys. Like, okay. I, Why? yeah, and, and a lot of people just, they were like, really? You could pick anybody in the world, and you both picked Cody Rhodes. They're like, okay. <laughs> I might even pick Omega over him, honestly. <laughs> I think Bischoff did pick Omega. Uh, I can't remember who. Well, they both who worked with his father. Maybe that has to do with it. I don't know. Well, everybody claims they're like, oh, they're just sucking up to Cody because he's the promoter. Like, he's not the promoter of StarCast. They don't have to kiss his ass. Who cares? He's not paying them a dime. So, whatever. I don't. They. He's not going to get them a job anywhere. So, I don't know why they would have to suck up to Cody. I mean, they clearly like him, but whatever. Two producers brought into NXT from Impact, uh, with who are Jeremy Borash and James Long. Will James really, really long will reportedly be on Triple H's team when he one day inherits responsibility for all WWE creative from Vince McMahon, according to Wrestling Observer. So <laughs> we could be Does seeing. Expect this to happen soon? I, I don't know. I I would think not, but. Does that mean we will be seeing more Jeremy Borash around? I wouldn't mind that. I would. <laughs> as long, oh, shut the hell up. As long as, we, as long as we don't get to see his, like, bug eyes, I don't care. Really eyes. <laughs> Put him on the commentary table. Have him feud with... with uh, have him feud with um, Josh Matthews again. That was, that was money. Matthews is a douche. <laughs> Per Cerrito Live, whatever the hell that is, Jerry Jarrett is doing a new reality show with Jim Cornette and Scott Hall as judges. You can't make oh, this up. Oh, wow. What is it? Making the band? Huh? <laughs> just, wow. Well, you know, Jerry Jerry, he's got to get his reality show. You know, huh? I don't know. What is it? Is this going to be who makes the best chicken salad? I, like, sure. I don't know. No, you lost. You lost me on that one, dude. It's a Pritchard show thing, but yeah. Anyway, there's actually a clip of him telling somebody how to make, and it's a real clip of him telling somebody how to make chicken salad. It's freaking hilarious. Uh, Jessica Andrade sell has been selling her own gear. Uh, just, she says, just to make ends meet. However, then she turned right around and said she's perfectly happy with the pay she's getting from UFC. <laughs> so, what kind of bills does she have, man? I know, right? You know what? Let him call. <laughs> How am I supposed to feed my family for $10 million? <laughs> All right. Yeah. Let him call. <laughs> <laughs> Had to squeeze it in. Uh, I don't know. You might know these women better than I do. I don't know. Tanya Evinger versus Aspen Ladd has been slated. Going, I don't know. Yeah, they're on... Harding versus what the hell? No. They're slated for UFC 229. Uh, slated for UFC. I can tell you, I read all the news. There's only one more story you haven't hit. That's important. All right. Uh, well, I guess uh, slated for UFC 232. Uh, Elor or Elir Latifi versus Corey Anderson. I don't know if that. You're just making up names now, dude. Half of these names do look made I up. I thought I told you to just hit the important stories from now on. All right, well, I can cut that one. Uh, you're, you're killing us, TJ. What the hell? 